there's a third one. I didn't even see that. Whoa. It just keeps going. Dude, it literally just keeps going. Oh my god. This is crazy. It's just crazy that I'm literally hiking through the middle of a forest and there's just all of these here. Oh my god, it just literally keeps going. Where is the end of this? What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I actually forgot my hat, wow this is weird. Anyway, so um, I have made it to a really really cool place. This place is known as the Trolley Car Graveyard. Uh, I was fortunate enough that the gate was open, um, so I was able to drive in here. I met the person who was living on the property and he gave me permission. He's like, yeah, you can go look around, take a look at stuff. He told me that there's a whole bunch of them like all the way far off in the woods. I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to make it that far. Um, we will see, I'll try and actually get there. But he said sometimes the brush gets really, really bad that you might not be able to get in there and you might have to give up, but uh, hopefully we won't have to do that. This place looks really, really cool. There's a whole bunch of uh, old machinery, old street cars. Um, yeah, let's take a look around, smash the like button, and uh, let's get the party started. So this is really cool. I was actually very fortunate enough that the uh, the gentleman at the front there who was cutting the grass, I, uh, he said he lives on the property and he maintains everything. And he's like, yeah, go ahead and uh, take a look. Just uh, don't hurt yourself, uh, which was really cool. Um, also, if you're interested in this place, don't sneak on the property. Um, if you happen to come on a day where somebody is here, you can take a look. Um, he was very, very nice. Wow, look at this. These are so cool. Oh, look how old these are. Whoa, this is so cool. Holy man, take a look at these. I kind of feel like uh, I'm almost into, uh, I'm almost in the Into the Wild movie. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie, but uh, the main character ends up living in a bus in the middle of Alaska during the winter, which was kind of a crazy story. Look at these. This is so cool. This is like a, a really, really neat piece of history. So I assume these probably all came from uh, like all over the state and uh, have just literally been brought here just to rot. I don't know what they were planning on doing with them, but uh, at least it's something cool for us to look at. So I don't know exactly what happened to this one, why it's uh, flipped over like this, but holy, look at that. Even all the, uh, the vegetation is starting to grow inside. Got some more over here. This is actually really awesome. Really cool experience. Holy. Look at this. The flooring in here is terrible. You really gotta watch where you step, so. I'm not gonna go too far into each of these, but this is so cool. Got another one back here. There's just something visually appealing about old trolley cars just sitting here in the middle of the woods. Wow. A lot of them still have the seats and some of the, like a little bit of the equipment is still here. These are kind of cool. I guess that's how they used to control it back in the day. I'm not sure how these used to operate, but uh, very nice. Look at the decay, man. Holy. So these are just some of them over here. I don't really know what the buildings were used for. I don't know if they used to like take them and repair them over here. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. Um, I should actually ask the guy for a little bit of an info after and just see like, you know, what, what exactly went on over here. I'm not going to go in the building, but uh, I will take a peek because I'm kind of curious as to what it used to be. Okay, so this is uh, kind of cool. I can't go in here, obviously, because there's these metal bars literally right here. I don't think this is open. No, it looks like they welded it shut, but you can actually see one of the old streetcars all the way at the end there. Whoa, so this must have been like a repair shop or something. That's awesome. Oh, it's so crazy to see how all the 
seats and everything are all, just all ripped out. They probably had quite a bit of vandalism. He do, he was saying that he uh, often chases people off the property, which is kind of funny. Which I guess would be people like me, who often sneak into places like this. I was very fortunate that he was there, and uh, that he was more than nice enough to just let me kind of roam around. So there is uh, more stuff back here. Um, it's like an old tractor. There's a building back there. Not sure what that used to be for. Yeah, we got an old tractor. One streetcar here. Actually, I don't think I went inside of this one. Oh, maybe I did. There's just a bunch of old tires in here. Oh, the floors are so bad. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the front. Yeah, that's definitely the front. Got a, uh, another building here that I'm going to peek inside of. Looks like it was just old storage. Just all the, the tires and stuff were all kept in here. That's a lot of tires. A lot of tires in one one spot. Well, and you can tell they were all old and used because they're very, very worn down. Got another little uh, shed here that I'm curious of. I don't even have all my gear with me ready yet for this, but uh, yeah, you got another little storage shed over here. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. It's like all the old parts. Oh, that's cool. So we got more uh, machinery and also a boat there in the bush. And we got uh, another streetcar over here that again is flipped on its side. Not quite sure why, but that's what it looks like on the inside. It's just a mess. Holy. So I'm towards the uh, back of the building, as you can tell now. There's actually more back here, and it's cool because you can actually see the tracks there too. That's where they used to pull them all in and out of from. So I was taking a peek in here, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. No, you can see that actually really well. There's actually more inside of there. Holy, look at that. And it's actually in really good shape too. That's nice, just looks so pretty. Got more back here. That one looks more like just a bus. Um, <sighs> express yourself, that's actually pretty funny. This is actually really cool. You can actually go straight inside. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How many of you guys could actually say that you've been on an old abandoned bus? This is not even really a bus, it's more of a like a subway car. Giant, giant hole there, gotta watch out. Oh, this is so neat. What? <laughs> I love this. Oh, there's a third one. I didn't even see that. Whoa. Just keeps going. Definitely smells uh, very old and abandoned. There's also giant holes in the floor, which we got to be careful of. Because you wouldn't want to go down instead of up. Wow. Very cool. I like this. This is very nice. This is cool. So there are more back there. Um, I am probably going to go back to the car and put some pants on because I don't know why I'm wearing shorts for this. It's just a bad idea because, you know, ticks and whatnot. Definitely don't want Lyme disease. But this is neat, man. Look how old this freaking bus is. It's not the magic bus, unfortunately, but... Oh, I just got a spider web in my face. It is quite magical, though. It's just cool, because we're, like, out here in the middle of the woods. There's just a bunch of, you know, train cars, buses all over the freaking place. Awesome.
so I am supposed to be heading that way, like I said, but I'm just going to head back to the car for a second um, just to grab some pants. Um, I would drive through here, but to be honest with you, my tires are very low on tread right now, and you never know what you're going to drive onto, and I'd rather not get a flat in the middle of nowhere. Um, but after this, I am actually going to be um, filming an abandoned asylum on the way to another asylum that I have permission to film. No idea if the place is still there, if it's accessible. Just kind of hoping that it is. Um, I think it would be something really cool to check out. But otherwise, I am filming a bunch of stuff behind the scenes as well. So you guys should be following me on the vlog by now if you're not. If you're not, look for the link in the description down below. The vlog channel is Angbona TV. A-N-G-B-O-N-A TV. Uh, head over there, subscribe. Uh, there's lots of cool daily content coming up. And it's about to get a lot spicier. So I have made it uh, a little bit further here into the bush. And he wasn't kidding when he mentioned that there was a lot of uh, brush back here. But there is another train right here. Which is pretty awesome. At least there's like a little bit of a pathway. Let's take a look inside here. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. I gotta go. I gotta go inside of here. This is uh, really, really cool. There's a lot of graffiti, but this one actually has uh, a lot of the seats still in here, too. Wow. Again, we got a lot of holes. And a lot of spider webs. All kind of slapping me in the face. So other than this, I don't know if there's actually any more. This might be uh, the end here, which is fine, because um, this was actually a pretty cool experience. Very, very unique compared to what I've uh, filmed in the past. I've never had a chance to do uh, <laughs> street cars. <laughs> oh wow, it just keeps going, look at that. Holy. Another booth here for the operator. Oh, things are so old and rotten, they're just kind of moving around. Look at this. Oh wow, there are more. Yeah, he wasn't kidding when he said there was a lot back here. <laughs> he did actually, uh, he did warn me. He's like, yeah, there's a lot of uh, brush and a lot of crap to kind of get through. It's very cool back there. There's a lot of cool uh, cars all the way at the, the back part of the forest here. Um, but yeah, this was definitely worth the uh, extra little hike. It actually wasn't as far as I thought it was gonna be, like to get all the way into the back here. Um, but I like this. Yeah, there's literally a whole bunch more there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're kind of just sitting there right in the, uh, in the plantation. Take a look at this. Oh my god. Well, it's a little swampy over here. Gotta get around the, the sludge. Uh, I kind of don't want to walk through that because I don't have my shitty shoes on. Uh, I can kind of get around this way, which is fine. But yeah, look at this. Holy crap. Oh, oh, I just went in mud. And so much for trying to keep my shoes clean. Ugh. Dude, it literally just keeps going. Oh my god. Here's the inside of one of them. Look at that. Completely destroyed. The whole roof just is gone. Holy moly. This is crazy. It's just crazy that I'm literally hiking through the middle of a forest and there's just all of these here. Wow. This is a really fun adventure. Really fun, uh... Good exercise, too. Holy, it literally just keeps going. That's wild. These ones are in uh, really, really, really rough shape. I wonder how long they've actually been here for. Like, these must have been here for like 40, 50 years, I'm guessing. Wow. Wow. 
Oh my god, it just literally keeps going. Where is the end of this? And there's even more, like, side by side. I don't really see the point in going in all of them. At this point, we're just kind of on an adventure, and it's going to get a little bit repetitive, but this is still fun. I hope it's fun for you guys to watch. And for those of you who are not subscribed yet, you guys should should be subscribed. If you don't have a way to subscribe, um, just set up a Google account. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can subscribe, turn notifications on, and uh, you guys will actually know whenever I upload videos like this. So typically I do, obviously, a lot of abandoned and haunted. For those of you who have been around for a while, obviously you guys know that. For those of you who don't know that, um, I like to do that. And I'm also doing a lot of travel vlogs because I'm basically living here in the States for three months. Maybe it'll be four months. I don't know. Maybe I just won't go back to Canada because I'm having too much fun here. But, uh, yeah. Wow. It literally just keeps going. So there are more. I don't know if there's any more after that. It's unbelievable how many there actually are. Holy. Whoa. So I was actually just talking to uh, Mo and he is currently waiting in Montreal airport to come to the United States, which is awesome. We have a lot of fun stuff planned. I'm actually gonna be meeting him um, down in Florida after this. So I'll get to go back there. Oh my God, this one is like just destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely just demolished right now. Yeah, I think this might be uh, the last of them. And I can start uh, hiking back. There's a lot of bugs and stuff. But at least they're not attacking me. It kind of comes with the, uh, the territory. Holy crap, the whole seat just got ripped out of the floor. What the hell? Yeah, it looks like this might be the uh, the end of the road. I would keep going, but um, yeah, I don't think there's any point. I think this is literally just where it ends. Yep, looks like this is the last of them here. So I'm gonna probably turn around here and uh, head back. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around, head back. Then I got another like two hour drive to my next destination. But this was a really cool adventure. Wowie. All right guys, well that was one hell of a uh, little mini adventure here. I hope you guys really enjoyed that one because I know I did. Um, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to follow me on all of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, because uh, I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff there so you know what's coming up. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. See you later. Bye.